This video is going to explain everything that you need to know about Ableton's audio effect called Overdrive. Keep in mind that Overdrive is not available in the intro and light editions of Ableton Live. So Overdrive is used to create distortion. You may use Overdrive to add a little bite to a track or maybe to give a vocal or a lead a little bit more presence in your mix. You'll often see me use Overdrive on return tracks. If something needs a little bit more grit or bite or presence, then I'll just adjust the send for that track. Before distortion even takes place, the audio has to go through a bandpass filter up at the top. It's a bandpass because it's cutting both high and low frequencies. You can drag vertically to adjust the filter's bandwidth. Higher values open up the filter more, where lower values give you a more narrow selection that will be distorted. And the frequency band can be adjusted by the horizontal axis. Either change this box to the left, or just drag it to the left and right. On the left side, the drive knob sets the amount of distortion. Ableton warns that a value of zero does not mean zero distortion. Next to the drive knob, we have the tone knob, which is another EQ control that accesses frequencies post distortion. Higher values mean more high frequency content. Towards the bottom, the dynamic slider adjusts the amount of compression to the amount of distortion. Higher values give less compression, lower values give more compression as you give it more distortion. The dry wet adjusts the balance between unprocessed or dry signal to processed and distorted wet signal. At 50 50, you're getting half of each. At 0%, it's completely dry as if overdrive is doing nothing. And at 100%, usually used more for return tracks, it's only outputting the distorted signal. For me, overdrive is helpful in small quantities. You will often see me use this as a return track set to completely wet. If it needs a little bite, presence, or some additional high frequency content, then I use send tracks in very small quantities. Check out some of my other videos that explain how to get more presence in a mix. Hopefully you should be seeing it on screen right now. If there's something I didn't cover, or if you had something to add to this video, leave it in the comments or let me know about it. For more engineering, production, and Ableton tutorials, just check out my channel. And thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you're interested in hearing the rest of the song that I used for this video, then just stick around. It's called Wishing Well by Soma. Thank you.